Hey guys, this is Audrey Lolita Terry coming in up out of Austin, Texas with the prophetic message for the people of God, okay? Pray with me and stay with me to the end. You gonna be blessed in the name of Jesus. Father God, I come into prayer, Lord God, just thanking you and blessing your holy heavenly name because you are worthy, Lord, of all the praises and all the honor. And Lord, I just thank you, Father. Lord, I pray, Father, that if there is any covenants that I may have made with the enemy, normally or unknowingly, I break that covenant right now in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. And Lord God, if there's any demonic portals that I may have opened, normally or unknowingly, I close it shut and I seal it closed with the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. And Lord, let those that have eyes see, Father, take the scales off their eyes and let those that have ears hear because you said my sheep shall know my voice and the stranger's voice thou will not follow. Have your way in Jesus' mighty name. I am praying. Amen, amen, amen. To God be the glory and all of the honor. My Lord, thank you, Father. <clears throat> Y'all, I did not want to come on here today. This was not part of my plans, but many of the plans in the man's heart, but it is the Lord plans that will prevail over eyes. It's the Lord plans that will stand over eyes. Lord, have your way in Jesus' name. I just want to say thank you for all the love and support, the donations that's coming through the ministry. I am praying for each and every last one of you guys that are blessing this ministry in so many ways. I pray that the Father will open up the floodgates and pour out a blessing upon you where you won't have room enough to receive. In Jesus' mighty name, I am praying. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. For y'all, I did not want to come on here. I did not want to come on here. I didn't want to come on here. It's just, I just feel like spiritually just tired and drained, you know, like I need a vacation. But the Lord says otherwise, hear me, somebody, hear me. But I'm praying that, and I believe in my spirit, I just feel it and sense it that I am not the only one that saw this in the spiritual realm, okay? I'm not the only one. I wrote down some things because I want to make sure that I try to bring as much as I can. I'm going to be coming from Jeremiah, get your Bibles, 16. This is the New International, okay, translation. And before I get into it, I just want to say, you know, and, and I, I'm going to always say this, okay? And to the Lord say otherwise, every message is not for everybody. Hear what I'm saying, amen? Thank you, Jesus. I will be led by the Holy Spirit and nothing and nobody else. Thank you, Father, because I'm not here to impress nobody, okay? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory and all. Oh, of the honor. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Every message is not for everybody. Some messages for individuals. Some messages corporate for groups, okay? I will bring the message as the Holy Spirit lead me to bring it, okay? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. But Jeremiah 16, to whom can I speak and give warning? Who will listen to me? Their ears are closed so they cannot hear. The word of the Lord is offensive to them. They find no pleasure in it. One more time. To whom can I speak and give warning? Who will listen to me? Their ears are closed so they cannot hear. My Lord, the word of the Lord is offensive to them. They find no pleasure in it. My Lord, my Lord, stay with me to the end. Now you got to hear the whole dream that the father gave me. And it was just so symbolic. My Lord, stay with me to the end. My Lord. And I didn't want to leave this out. And one of the weapons that I saw, okay, it was when I opened a barrel, it was gold and silver coins. I want y'all to keep that in mind. I didn't want to leave that off. Okay, it was gold and silver coins in it that, that fell out. Stay with me now. Stay with me. Thank you, Father. In this dream, there was a bright, it was a bright and sunny day. I mean, just nice day. Okay, I saw myself 
at this beautiful home. It looked like a palace. I see a family member holding this cat, which represent witchcraft. And I want to kind of cover that a little bit. Some people think witchcraft is actually putting stuff on people. It's not the only way you could do witchcraft. It's opening up your mouth in a negative way on somebody. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for speaking things in the atmosphere over their life that you should not. The Lord is speaking to somebody right now, okay? Sometimes we open up our mouth and we speak things over people's life that we should not. That's you operate in witchcraft, okay? That's one of the ways. Come on, help me, Holy Ghost fire, to bring this message the way you intended, Lord. Okay, I'm gonna get on with the mess with this, what I saw. There were people touring this place. It was so beautiful. My Lord, it was just gorgeous. I have been in some beautiful homes and I have, I mean, beautiful homes, but nothing like this. <laughs> nothing was like this, okay? It was like a palace. It was just beautiful. When I looked up, I see these armed and professional looking men coming. And catch this, it was a woman leading them. Thank you, Lord, I didn't wanna leave that out. It was this woman that was in front and she was leading these men. Somebody gonna catch what I'm saying in the spirit. Okay, professional looking men coming to this palace, okay, with this, these professional weapons. And I saw this, my Lord, thank you, Father. I tried to warn the people so we could all get out, but no one would listen to me, not even my own family. Before I knew it, th this, th these men were in this palace all over us with professional weapons in their hands. They took out some people and they helped some, but their goal was to wipe out everybody. Somebody gonna catch what I'm saying in the spirit, my Lord, my Lord. I told them I had to go to the bathroom and I got outside this house and I see all these church folks touring in the midst of all this madness. Stay with me now. Thank you, Lord. I kept yelling trying to warn these church folks. Oh Lord, what was going on? And very few took me serious. A few people listened, and, and listen, but instead of me just running and getting out the way, I continue and getting away, I continue to try to warn these people of the danger that was taking place at this palace. This handsome, Looked to be anywhere from between seven feet and 10 feet tall, dark skinned guy. He had a build like a warrior. He had on a baby color yellow, like polo looking shirt. Okay. He stopped the line that he was leading and he listened to me. He grabbed my hand. Okay. Because these other people would not listen. He grabbed my hand and the dream shifted. Okay. With us back in this house in front of this glass case like a glass showcase of different weapon. He broke this case and handed me the weapon. And he said to me with this gentle voice, you got to load it. I tried, but I was making a mess. I didn't know what I was doing. I wanted him to do it because I thought to myself, we don't have time for this. He had patience with me. Okay, even though these people, okay, which was demons, the Holy Spirit translated to me at the end when I woke up. Okay, keep that in mind. I didn't want to forget that. Okay. He had patience with me. He kept saying, I kept saying, they are coming. I felt it in my spirit, but he was not afraid. He was, it was like, his only concern was to get me to safety. He got me out the house. And the people that did not listen, they got left behind. Y'all stay with me, my Lord. The people would not listen. They were being distracted by in and everything. And while this war was going on, okay, on the other side of the palace, they were like calm and just taking everything for granted. Somebody gonna catch what I'm saying in the spirit, my Lord. And you getting blessed today <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, somebody getting blessed. All I saw 
was what looked like fire come through this window and shatter the glass because this house was like glass. It was just beautiful. I mean, just beautiful. I can't even describe. There's no words to describe how beautiful this house was, okay? But I see what looked like fire come through the glass of this house. This dream was some symbolic and I know it. My Lord, the Lord was speaking. Jesus, to the people of God, to me, okay? Me warning the people was me warning the church. It's like I wanted to run off and leave the people that was not listening, but something on the inside of me, my Lord, which was the Holy Spirit, kept saying, not yet. It's not time. He wanted to give the people a chance to listen and turn away from their wicked ways, but they would not. It was like a spiritual war was going on in the realm. The man with me had to be some type of angel or he represented the Holy Spirit because he kept trying to teach me and his patience, okay, how to load this weapon. And he led me away from the war. Okay, hear me. He led me away from this war that was going on. And so many people got left behind, y'all. My Lord, my Lord. Because these people were sitting around and they were just taking everything for granted like nothing was going on. My Lord, my Lord. What I felt in my spirit is the Lord was saying, we have to be armed, equipped, and ready. You, It's not enough that you could just know the word, but you must apply the word. My Lord. To your situation, the Lord is speaking to somebody. It's not just enough to know the word of God, but you must apply the word of God to your situation. At the end of the dream, we were in this beautiful green forest that was so peaceful. And I woke up. The green forest represented prosperity and wealth. Okay? Prosperity and wealth. My Lord. The Lord was just speaking in so many different ways. Everybody is not going to catch this. But I know for a fact, somebody going to get it, okay? Somebody going to catch what I'm saying in the spirit. And you going to be blessed, my Lord. The people of God have, have given the word of God a deaf ear and the warnings that are coming their way. They're sitting on the word of God. And, and the Lord was even speaking to me, my Lord, my Lord, in so many different ways. I mean, even outside of the dream, the father had been speaking to me all week. Okay. With these scriptures popping up on my phone, 3 a.m. and 2 a.m. in the morning, I pick up my phone and there was scripture where the Lord is speaking to me through his word. Thank you, father. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory and all of the honor. The Lord is speaking to many of us, but we're not taking heed to the word of God, we're not listening. Many of us, we know the word. Come on, help me, Holy Ghost fire. But we're not living by the word. I'm gonna say that one more time. We know the word of God and we could quote the scriptures inside out and tell you where to find them, but we're not living by the word of God. The Lord is speaking to somebody right now. My Lord, my Lord, let this word land where it needs to land. Lord, let those that have eyes see, my Lord, and let those that have ears hear. Oh, Lord, I pray that the laws be found and that the, 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 the blind be able to see. Come on, help me, Holy Ghost fire. My Lord, my Lord, this word I believe in my spirit that is going to reach. OK, because I saw a spiritual war going on in a realm. And that's the reason why what we're going through here on earth is so intense because there is war taking place in the spiritual realm. Hear what I'm saying, saints. OK, hear what I'm saying. But at the end, we win. I'm going to say that one more time. But at the end, regardless of what's going on, we will win. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory and all of the honor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. With that being said, maybe maybe the, the Lord is talking to you today. OK, this you know who you are. Come on, help me. Holy Ghost fire. You know who you are. Many of us have gotten away from the word and all we look for is itchy ear messages. My Lord, we take no heed to the warning that the father has given us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this didn't only apply to just the, 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 the church. It was applying to me, too, because I am a part of the church. Thank you, Father, the body of the Christ. The Lord was speaking to me, to, um, too, OK, that I can't just 
know the word, but I got to apply the word. Okay. You can't play with this thing. We got to arm, equip and, and get ourselves ready. Strap our boots up and get ready. Cause there is a war, a war taking place in the spiritual realm. Hear what I'm saying. Hear me. Say the sinner's prayer with me. Maybe you backslid. Maybe this was you looking for itchy ear messages. My Lord, my Lord, the Lord, you only want to come when, when it's an itchy ear, ear message. The Lord is speaking to you today. Okay. Maybe it's you, maybe you got away from the, the word of God and you taking it for granted. Whoever you is, it don't matter. It's irrelevant. Okay. Say the sinner's prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my life as my Lord and Savior. If you said this prayer with me, okay, you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and rose from the dead. You are saved now by the blood of Jesus. The next step is water baptism. I love you guys and be blessed until next time. Bye.